In PHP, functions are everywhere. Put simply, a function is a way for us to organize and group statements of code. This code can then be wrapped with a name that will allow us to call this same group of code over and over. Functions can be described with the following analogy. A coffee pot would be a function called make coffee. The coffee pot takes coffee grounds and water, then it heats the water and pours the water over the coffee, finally through a filter, returning a cup of liquid coffee. Functions, in most cases, will be returning a value based off of supplied input, such as arguments, known values like databases, external APIs, or date and time. To start with, we're going to open up a standard set of PHP tags, just like we're used to in all the previous lessons. Then we're going to use a new keyword called function. The keyword function will signal the PHP interpreter to tell it that anything after this is going to be a function. The next thing we pass after function is a word hello, which is the name of our function. We open and close parentheses, and then we open and close our curly braces. Now inside of these curly braces, we're going to do some sort of statement, some sort of PHP work. In this case, we're going to simply echo a string, and the string is hello, comma, world. Make sure you close it with a semicolon, and then we move on to the next step. This is the way we call our function. See, in order to call the function, we just simply place the name on a line by itself, and then open and close parentheses to let the interpreter know that we're calling a function named hello. We close that statement with a semicolon, and then the output when this is run should be hello, comma, world. All right, so in our workspace here, we have an index.php with a PHP tag opened up for us to start with. So to create a function, we're going to uh, start by using the keyword function. So we'll go down a line and type function. All right, followed by the function name. In this case, we'll call our function uh, hello. All right, we're gonna open and close a set of parentheses. There aren't gonna be any arguments. We'll get into that a little bit later. Then open and close our curly braces. Now, anything inside of here is what's going to happen when we call the function hello. So we'll tab in and echo a statement. So we'll do echo, then hello, comma, world, exclamation point, and close it with another single quote to end the string, and then a semicolon to end the line. Now, that will actually create our function for us, but in order to use the function, we have to call the function. So in order to call a function, we simply type the function's name followed by parentheses. So we'll type in hello and then open and close parentheses. Now it is PHP, so we're going to need to close this line with a semicolon to end the statement. Okay, let's go ahead and save this. And then we will ease on over to the eyeball for preview. And we will see now that uh, it says hello world, which is exactly what we want. All right, let's switch back over to our code and we will create a new example. I'm gonna actually go ahead over and remove the uh, line seven. We don't wanna call it. We're gonna create another function and this function is going to be called isMike. So let's say we'll do function and then is underscore Mike. Open and close parentheses and open and close our curly braces. So in here, the idea behind this function is we're gonna have a variable. And that variable would be, say, the currently logged in user. We'll call that variable current user. Now, in order to test to see if it's Mike, we're going to need to bring in current user and then do an if statement and then output a string that tells us whether it is or is not Mike. So let's do that with starting with a conditional function, so or a conditional if statement. So we'll do if, and then we'll say our variable is current user, so current underscore user equals equals to make sure it's equivalent, and then Mike. We close that with a single quote, close our parentheses, and then now we have a completed if statement. If the current user is equal to Mike, we're gonna wanna output a string. So I'll do echo, and I'll say it is Mike. All right, close the single quote, and then close the statement with a semicolon. So now if current user is equal to Mike, then we'll have a echo statement that says it is Mike. Otherwise, so we need an else statement here. And inside of our else statement, we'll say it is not Mike. So echo, nope, 
it is not Mike. All right, I'll put a period in here and then a semicolon to close the line. Now this is great, except uh, when we call it, so we'll go uh, is Mike. The only problem here is that we don't have a variable called current user. Now, there's something you need to understand about function scope. Any kind of variable that's used inside of the function here, so inside between lines um, 10 and then lines 14, anything inside that function is only for that function. So in order to get something from the outside, we have to pass that through as an argument, or we can use the global statement, which we're going to do now because we're going to use something outside of the function scope but we're not into arguments just yet. So let's create this variable, current user. And that current user variable is gonna be equal to, to start off with, Mike. All right, now to get that inside of our function, we're gonna to need to go inside the function and type global as our keyword and then current user. All right, now that will tell us we have a global variable outside of the function scope called current user that we would like to use inside of our function. Okay, now that we've done that, let's run this code by going to our preview and see what it looks like. So I'm gonna go over to our uh, preview after I've saved it and then hit refresh. It is Mike, which is correct. Now, if we changed current user to say me and then saved it and went back over and refreshed, it'll say, nope, it is not Mike. So now we have a function that runs uh, simply from a single line that we can find out whether or not the current user is equal to Mike. 